Hey Collective, it's Al. Welcome back to the channel. Today's post is going to be dedicated towards the big reveal. Ooh la la. I spent a magical evening listening to some amazing music that I just can't get enough of. And I spent it in tune with the divine. And it was revealed to me what this is all about for you divine unions that are coming in uh, together into a partnership of whether it's friendship or love or whatnot. And the big reveal was, it is your love that will raise the vibration of all of humanity. You see, the one thing that we've been missing is that we've been kept apart because of the fact that we didn't know that to the illusion, to the simulation, the single greatest threat to all of humanity as it was, is the epitome of the ideal love, of God's love looking back upon the earth. And it is truly threatening and horribly intimidating towards those who have settled or those that are stuck in a world that doesn't understand what true love is. So for those of you who are in same-sex couples and or uh, heterosexual couples, I'm supposed to tell you how this is, what, what drew you all together. If you are, uh, for example, my divine counterpart, it was that we made a single wish to be the embodiment of what a wholesome gay couple looks like in the world and how that represents the wholeness of integrity, value, honor, respect, inequality. For lesbians, what it was was that you all dared to think of equality as a must, not as an option. And you saw the plight of women as something to celebrate in each other. You seek God's love in the eyes of the other and you get it reflected back in a way that honors all women that have come before you and that will come after you. For you heterosexual couples, it turns out that the love that you're bringing into the world is unconditional. It will not allow for divorce. It does not allow for mistakes other than to understand and relate to each other. You were made for each other. How romantic is that? So as we do this tenuous dance now, it appears that we have gotten close to where the partnerships are now, no, they are aware of the other. And so that's why the big reveal was so important. So for those of you who are still nervous about these connections and nervous about whether the person will take you or the person will accept you or the person this or that, your love cures that fear. Just coming into contact with the other person will immediately obliterate all the shadow that you think is there because it's all an illusion. It doesn't exist. The truth of this is that these unions represent the future, a world that is built upon all of what is wholesome, but not religiously wholesome, as in wholesome that represents the divine universe. It represents those that are willing to fight for humanity. It's those that are willing to help their brothers and sisters, those that are driving community efforts, those that are driving first aid efforts, first responders. It's driving anyone who's actually solution-oriented and sees that the Eden that we've been promised is each other, if we can get over the fear of losing it. But here's the thing, where we're going, you lead the way, Divine Unions. You are the examples that God has chosen, Allah, whoever you believe in. To, ex to exemplify what he, she, it wants for humanity. And you will set precedence that has never been seen before. It is a reward that is unknown and unseen. It is a mystery to us. Because in this world, we've allowed things to shatter our, to shatter our vision of what we can have. And here God has chosen those that he knows are worthy of showing what you can have. These unions are so mystical. The reveal is that it will change the vibration of every human being that it comes into contact with. Just being around them will bring everybody's vibration up because it's the representation of you can have it all. It's not materialistic. It's not driven by ego. It's not driven by anything lower vibrational. It is the epitome of the return of the king amongst its people that are the chosen ones to represent that love before all of the other things happen. These couples will then lead the way through the wholeness of that representation of the Holy High, and they will bring forth a new era 
but one where we are rejoiceful, not of surrender and death where we're at. And it's important that you understand that it's not a pressure-filled situation. You're not obligated to do it. I'm just supposed to reveal why your vibration changes the world around you. You will be made of opposition or you'll be made for each other. There is no greater reward in the world than to know that God specifically chose your partner for you. If you are in these unions, that means that you have done everything right. And the only thing now is for you to take what is yours in your own power and make that connection. You will be able to then encounter every obstacle or every challenge that comes in towards you in a way that obliterates the darkness immediately and only light will shine through. Meaning that other people will be able to follow you without fail because they will know that you are the real deal because you are chosen to represent God's love in and for the people. It's an incredibly great honor and I'm supposed to reveal this to you now for some reason. And all I know is that you all are ready to take the leap of faith that is required so that you can lead our people, all of humanity, in love and honor, integrity and value, in respect and equality and justice. You are the justice to our planet because it is only love that will break us free of the shackles of fear. Love answers all things. It always has. But we've been blind to see it because we've been busy thinking that it's material or that it's another person. No, these couples are 100% themselves and are coming into union so that God reflects in duality and polarity in every coupling, whatever the sequence is. You are incredibly blessed and it is time to receive your blessings. If you should just look up and see that you're being handed your Eden 